Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the second video of my tutorial series on how to make your own drum kit in Logic Pro. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a kick drum from scratch using only Logic Pro stock plugins. There is a free download to all of the drum samples that we make in this tutorial series, and you can find that in the description below. But anyway, let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is create a new MIDI track. And we're gonna be using the ES2 synth. Go down here, click ES2, create. Now I'm gonna open it up. And for the factory default, I'm gonna change this to the tutorial settings down here. And I'm gonna to go to analog saw initial. What I'm gonna do now is turn the um, musical typing on so you can hear the, how, what the sound is changing to as we make different adjustments. I'm gonna hit Command K to bring that up. The note we wanna use is this, if you type in E, it's above the C0. Uh, and the first thing I'm gonna do is go to this oscillator and turn the pitch down 12 semitones. Next, I'm gonna turn this detuning down. And I'm gonna turn our sawtooth into a sine wave. Next thing I'm gonna do is turn on oscillator three and bring this to the noise generator. And we're just gonna have a little bit of noise, so I'm gonna bring this down from 100 to 92%. Next, I'm going to turn this mod wheel off and bring this all the way up for pitch one, two, three. And our source, I'm going to change it from LFO one to envelope one. So now it's starting to sound like a kick drum, but obviously with a little bit of noise. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn down this decay from 690 milliseconds to 190. And I'm going to turn this sustain knob all the way down. And now it's starting to sound like a kick drum. That's all we need the ES2 for. So now I'm going to close that out and turn on some EQ by double clicking that little EQ box. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn on a high pass filter and bring it up to 37.5 hertz, and I'm gonna leave these two alone. So that's what we have now. Next, I'm gonna take this high shelf and turn it down 14 decibels and down to about 25, 100, 24, 50, that's fine. So part of the reason to do that was to bring the level of the noise down and to um, bring the level of that clicking noise every time you hear me play it down. So that's all we need this uh, EQ for. Next, I'm going to turn on the distortion. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn the output down to minus 9 dB and turn the drive up to about 8.5. And, and then the tone, I'm going to turn it all the way up to uh, the highest frequency, 20,000 hertz. And that's all we need distortion for. Next, I'm gonna put another EQ. And this time I am going to boost about um, at 100 hertz. And I'll do that about four. I'm gonna make this a lot this range much narrower, much more narrow, I should say. And then what I'm going to do is take this shelf and all the frequencies that we just turned down, I'm going to turn them back up uh, with a little bit of distortion for color and about 1260, 1240, and plus 8 dB should be good. And that's about it for this EQ. Next, I'm going to turn the uh, multiband compressor on and you can find that in Dynamics. And I'm gonna leave the factory default on, and I'm gonna turn the gain up for the mid lows 
up to about 3 dB. I'm going to turn the mid highs up to about 4 dB. And the highs up to about 1.5. Yeah, that sounds good. And that's all we need the multipressor for. Next, I'm going to add a regular compressor. And I'm going to open up the stock um, setting uh, for drums right here for type R kick drum. And when I hit that, we can hear it clipping. So what I'm going to do is turn the limiter on. And I'm going to turn this auto gain off. And that's all we do for the settings. Now to bounce this MIDI out as a sample, I'm going to create a new MIDI track right here, or MIDI region, I should say. Double click it, and our note is this one right here. So that's the um, D sharp or E flat, whatever you want to call it, above the low C zero. And this is our note right here. Right now I have it set to an eighth note. You can set it however long you want. This is what it would be as a quarter. About the same, I'll leave it as a quarter for now. Next, you wanna hit uh, right click this or control click this and hit bounce in place. And I am going to, I'm gonna turn the normalizer off since I have the limiter on so I know it's not gonna clip, but you can do whatever you want. Um, and everything else, I'm going to name it Kick Drum Tutorial. And I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to mute our original track. And this is our kick drum. If you want to add this uh, kick drum to your Apple Loops library, you can right click here and just click Add to Apple Loops Library. And then you can pick all sorts of uh, genres. So I would call this a one shot since this is a kick drum. And let's go to All Drums. And I'll go to Kick. And let's see, you can click all of this stuff you want. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. And I'm going to create it. And it's there. So now it's a loop. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performances, and DJ tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.